Hey, this is Lula. I am doing a, uh, a new project here. This is, uh, basically, we're looking at rich people houses and, uh, and seeing, seeing what's the, all the hype about these million, multi-million dollar houses. And uh, having gone through a few of these with my friends, I can tell you that it, the hype is mostly horror uh, and, and a fair amount of comedy, which, which I... I I'm not going to promise you that these will be funny, but I'm going to do my best. Um, we are starting in Alabama. We are going to do the most expensive house. Well, here's here's the caveat. Uh, the most expensive house in each state, but it's got to have a decent amount of pictures. So the, the actual most expensive house for sale in Alabama right now is... Uh, a little over twelve million dollars, but there's no actual pictures of the inside of the house, other than like these really artistic zoomed in like soft focus pictures of like doorknobs. <laughs> you can't actually see the house. So this this next most expensive one is a little under eight million six, and uh, let's. let's see, it's an eleven bedroom, twelve bathroom. You can see it's got this very complex layout it's on the water um the waterfront property in alabama is limited and in high demand all right so this i'm um, yeah you know, like an italian villa kind of vibe i think is what they're going for here uh let's see how they pulled it off i've i've got a i've got a guess about how well they'll have done it in a pool hot tub all right Let's let's get into it. Nope, we're still on the dock. They got to show off those boats. Rich people love boats. God, I mean, boats a, a a boat's a fun thing, but I'm like, I don't want to be on a boat all the time. Maybe that's like the Midwesterner in me. I'm like, mm, boats are sometimes things. Um, all right, a nice pool. I like I like the combo jacuzzi pool thing. That's that's always fun. Um, I like this like covered porch area here. Got some interesting stonework. Oh, oh, this is, this is how you know you've made it, uh, in, in the land of the wealthy is when you've got a boat garage. And this is a, this is a two boat garage. So, uh, they're, they're doing pretty well. Uh, I, you know, you got your, your Romeo and Juliet balcony up here. The better to throw yourself uh, off. All right. That's that's the boat garage. Uh, I believe they've gone to the University of Alabama because where else would you go? And we got paths. Come on, let's get inside. We got gates to keep the riffraff out. You got to keep the plebeians out. They're they're trying to march in there with guillotines, you know. All right, long driveway. This is the one thing. The, the wealthy do not live walkable lives. They, they only walk on treadmills and nowhere else. Or no, you know what? They walk all day long from one side of this house to the other. This is... They got bars on the window. They're particularly concerned about break-ins through that window. Or they're keeping... They're keeping a prisoner in there. That's what they're doing. That's... They're keeping a prisoner in that. Oh, my. That's very, that's very dramatic. Someone read a lot of, like, is that, is that, you know, Merchant of Venice? I don't, I don't know, Venetian? I think, I think there's some sort of Italian theme going on here. This is very romantic, classical, you know. I don't actually know anything about architecture, fair warning. Oh, we got a dome. We love a dome. Uh, you need a chandelier over that staircase. That's, you know what, that's a downside of that staircase is you got, it obligates the chandelier. All right. We're back outside. Why are we back outside? All right. You got some cool outdoor spaces. All right. A lot of lawn. A lot, of, a lot of greenery. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a an outdoor walkway, which you know what? You're in Alabama. You might as well take care, you know, take advantage of the fact that it's it's mostly warm there. And uh Oh. Oh, this is nice. This is But okay, so here's that walkway. Here's the greenhouse. How much sun does this thing actually get? The house is here. The walkway is here. You're going to get it in like the middle of the day. But I feel like the, the point of a greenhouse is to have as much sunlight as possible. I don't know if you're getting that in this little in this little corner. But it's a nice size. That's a nice size for a greenhouse. All right. They're getting points. You know, so far this is not, this is not too bad. They got some nice covered seating. This is... So far, tentatively, I will say this is a respectable, rich person house. Let's see how they've ruined it. All right, we got oh, can lights. Uh, all right, we'll give them a pass. Everyone did can lights in the early 2000s, and no one knows how to get rid of them without leaving holes in the ceiling. This is a lot. Uh, all right, all right. That's okay. Here's here's rich person house sin number one. They all put the TVs above the fireplace. Terrible for the TV. Like I get that they probably buy a new TV every year, but it's just it's just bad practice to put the TV over the fireplace. It's but you know why they do it? They do it because they like to pretend that they're the kind of people that sit around in these chairs and you know, around the fireplace and actually talk to each other. But what they actually do is they sit around the TV and they don't talk to each other. Um, that's, that's why they do that. That's, that's all that's about. All right. Oh, all right. There's, there's a bit going on in here. Um, very busy, very busy space. We've got a balcony up here. We've got a big, long, drapey curtains you'd never wash those what how would you ever wash those i i guess you just uh, i don't even know um windows how do you wash those windows you pay someone you pay someone a lot of money to do it here's the thing you'll notice with these kinds of houses they can't buy one of any piece of furniture this they can't have just one of these chairs they have to have two You'll see that, that, look, this chair, got to have two, got to have two of them. You got to have an even number of every piece of furniture. I don't know where the other one of these couches is, but I would, I would not be surprised if there's another one lurking around here. Uh, I don't see it there. Oh, we have a single chair. All right. You know what? They've, oh, I was about to be excited about that. And then I saw these gigantic <laughs> fake plants lo like looming over this room and you know that they're fake because who how would you water them how would you water them they're not even nice they don't that's not even nice like plant shape all right this is another thing they have to have these massive huge houses with so much space they don't actually have that much use for the space and so they've got this massive room they've made a one reasonably sized seating area they've still got half the room left they have to have two seating areas adjacent to each other as if that's not super awkward so yeah we've got rug one rug two all right all right we have a lot of a lot of balcony there's a lot of places for spectators in here that's, you know, you're never going to feel like a conversation in this room is private. I guess rich people in Alabama, that might be the idea. Um, that's in a lot of chairs. That's a lot of chairs to have around that table. It's not quite big enough for that many. Um, you got this nice little serving area. I guess that's pretty cool. It's just, it's too many chairs. It's just too many chairs. Like... Just take one off on either side, and then you could have a reasonable amount of spacing there. But literally, there's no room for me. Uh, all right, all right, I'm letting it go. 
You remember what I was saying before about these rooms being just literally too big for any practical use. All of them have fucking living rooms inside of the bedroom. Like, what? when are you going to have a use for the living room inside your bedroom? First of all, you're not supposed to be doing things in your bedroom other than sleeping. That's terrible sleep hygiene. Um, and you've got probably four other living rooms in this house. Why do you need another one in the bedroom? Who, who are you entertaining in here? You're not taking guests in here. You're like, you know, having having a pre-game talk on what's going to happen over here? I don't know. Uh, all right, this seems to be... Okay, I think this is like a dressing area. Is that a mini bar? Do they have a mini bar in the closet? That's... You know what? If you've got that kind of money... <laughs> um... Not sure how I feel about that light fixture. Um, big, awfully big bathroom. You know what? I, I, I don't think it should feel like exercise just to make it through the bathroom. You know, that's just me. Um, big closet. They definitely went to like the the closets and more. The closet organization coupons I get in the mail. Um, this is, oh, it's a his and hers. So this is this is her walk-in closet with all of that this is his that's okay oh and he's got more space i assume based on the wood color all right <laughs> hold on wait let, let me clear this up let me clear this up so mom has this entire room for her shoes and her clothes Dad has this entire room for his shoes and his clothes. And your kids have to sleep three to a room. Really? Oh, what? I, I bet these are like quiverfuls or something where they've like... But still, you know what? One of those closets, one of those closets could have been a bedroom. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, and th these ones are sharing a room too? How many children? We're counting five children in this house so far. That's already pushing it. And this is, I don't know, a guest room or auntie's room. And it's kind of a cool door. I'm, I'm, it's giving Hobbit, you know. We are now, we are now at seven children, which I got, I, you know, no offense to people from big families. I'm sure your big family was lovely. Our, our climate is going down the tubes and seven is too many children. We should not be making that many children anymore. It's just irresponsible. Why did the children have a conference table? What are, are they having a snack? Are they, I don't know. All right. This is, oh, this is another adult bedroom. Uh, we got a TV. So whoever's in here, Hides in here. Um, all right, all right. A lot of cam lights we got going. All right, another one. This is this is big, so I guess this is for some honored guests, perhaps. And oh, if if your rich people house does not have a billiards table, are you really rich? That's that's a question for the ages. And this one, uh, the beige, the beige billiards table, that's that's a look in the ornate wood. And I love that they've got the stocks on the TV back here. Like just, to, you know, oh, if you live in this house, you care about the stocks. <laughs> All right. Uh, OK, yeah, I like this little tin detail here. Um, this is not a kitchen. This is this is just a bar, I think. And it's, yeah, I th I think that's all this is. Okay. Oh, we've we've got a library, and we've got big. Oh no, this is this is like an office with a library, and it's got these big glass doors that you will be distracted at all times by your thousands of children who are, you know 
doing God knows what out here. Um, Vulcan. Interesting. We've got more stocks on the TV. So I think we need a TV in every room in this house so that we keep track of the stocks at all times. I think that's the idea. And all right. All right. Uh, oh, this is a second. Is this a second office or is that the same office? Come on. Come on. What are you doing? What are you? Uh, no, it's the same office. Okay. It's the same office. Just different angle. Got a fireplace. Yeah, is that hanging from the seal? I don't know. All right. This, this is a different office. This, you know, at some point, the ceiling is too high. I don't know. I'm a small person. And this, this, all of this air here is just, a, it's ominous to me. I don't want that much over me. Unless I'm outdoors, you know. That's, it's, if it's just straight me to God, then we're fine. Me to the ceiling, we, we don't need that much space between us. We got multiple, you better have multiple washer dryers with that many children. And then that goes out to the greenhouse. All right. That's, that's a practical room. And 10,000 garage doors. All right. I'm, I'm not shocked by this. I'm not shocked by this. You got, is this the garage or the basement? Why did they have a car in the basement? I don't know. Oh, and the wine cellar. If you don't have a wine cellar, are you really rich? It's required. But I love that they definitely don't have... Like, they've got a lot of wine here, but they don't have enough to fill this up. Is it because someone keeps drinking it? Or is it because they don't actually like wine and this is just obligatory, like, social pressure wine? Who can say? I'm not, I'm not interested. I don't know about you... I don't know about you, but, uh, you know what? For Alabama, an obnoxious fake Italian villa for 10,000 children, none of whom get their own room, even though you have, let's see, we got a master bedroom, we got three children's rooms, and then we've got seven guest rooms. Is that right? I don't know if we saw all of those. That to me, if I am one of those children and I've got two other brats sleeping in the room with me and we have, we've got seven empty guest rooms, like maybe, maybe five or six. Maybe we have guests a lot, but I'm guessing all of those rooms are not full all of the time. I'd be pissed. I'd be pretty pissed. All right. This is about what I expected from Alabama. No, sh no shockers there. And uh, I hope you enjoy the, the series. If this is something that is amusing to you, uh, if you have certain things that you want commented on, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comments, whatever you feel like doing. Follow your heart.